Hey guys, I'm Bikas from Small Academy and welcome to another video. So in the last part, we created this channel adapter. In the this video, we are going to uh, create this constructor here to receive the list of channels. So let me go ahead and start creating the list of channels. Okay. So channel is the generic class that we have here. So I want to pass that. So I want to receive the list of channels. Okay. So that I'll be able to display all the channels in our big slide review here. So here I will pass the generic class that we have channel. Okay. And we'll call these channels. And I will also receive one more parameter here that is type. Okay. So as I said, this channel adapter is going to be used for all the recycler view that is present in our home page. Okay. So for the big slider, we are going to use the same channel adapter and for other category wise recycler view, we will also use the same channel adapter. So I want to be able to identify what type of uh, recycler view that we are using this channel adapter for. Okay. So that's why I'm using type here. So type is going to be big slider type and category type. Okay. So based on that, we will change this slider view, but we are not going to do that right now. We'll do that later when we start implementing those categories. Okay. But for now, I will just create the constructor here. So go to generate, click on constructor, select both of them and click on OK. So now whenever we create the instance of this channel adapter, we need to pass this to parameter. Okay. And now here in the on bind view holder, I'm going to bind the data. So to bind the data, I can reference to this channel name and channel image using this holder variable inside this on bind view holder. So I'm going to create the instance of holder reference to this channel name and we'll say text. And from channels, we are going to receive the channel information. And now we can access all these properties of this channel class. Okay. See so this channel class we have here. So I will get the name to display the title of the channel. Okay and now holder the channel image and we can set the image but we're not going to directly set the image instead of that we will use the picasso to load the image okay so picasso get that load and here we'll pass the image url and we'll get the image url from the channels list here and we'll get the thumbnail okay and now we need to pass the target placeholder and that is present in our custom view so holder dot channel image okay that way we can load the image from the url so the last thing i want to do here is i want to return the number of channels that we are receiving from this list so i want to display all the channels that we have received through this channel parameter here okay i will return the size of the channels list okay so that way we will display all the channels that we are receiving from this channel adapter Okay, guys, so this is the channel adapter part. Now we'll go to the main activity and we'll start working on here. So, okay, the first thing first, we need the instance of recycler view. So big slider list and we will also need the instance of our channel adapter. So I will create channel adapter and I'll give the name as big, big slider adapter because we are going to use this particular adapter for the slider view. Okay, and we also need the list of channels. So channel, channel list. Okay. And let me import the class okay now here we will create the we will initialize this recycler view with the layout resources so big slider list calls to find view id r dot id uh, i think i have not given the id for this recycler view here so let me give the id big slider list now i can access that recycler view here okay and now this slider list is going to have the layout manager so we will create new linear layout manager but our layout manager is going to be horizontal so we will add the direction to this linear layout manager as horizontal and we'll pass the false because we don't want to reverse the layout okay now we'll create the instance of big channel adapt big slider adapter and we'll create new channel new channel adapter and it is giving us some error because we need to pass the two arguments here 
first one is the list of channels and second one is type of slider so our is slider okay Tider, type of um, recycler view so this is going to be slider big slider so that's why i'm passing the type as a slider here and finally here i will attach this adapter to our recycler view so big slider list dot set adapter and we'll pass the big slider adapter okay so normally this would work so if we run our application we should see our uh, recycle view but currently our channel list is empty right we do not have any data inside this channel list okay now we'll go ahead and uh, extract the data from our api that we have okay now let's go ahead and create one method to extract the data okay so extract the data from api what i want to do is i want to create one method here so public void get channel data and i'll pass the string for the url okay now inside this case get channel data we will extract the data from our api okay so we'll use the volley to extract the data so we'll create request queue queue and we'll use volley dot new request queue and we'll pass the context all right now we need to go to our browser and check the type of data that we are receiving from this json okay so if you are familiar with the json syntax javascript object notation syntax we have array and object but in our case we are having object in our data here okay so the curly braces uh, tells us that it is a json object and inside this json object we have multiple json object okay so this is the nested json object type of json data so we have main json object and every uh, items present inside this json object is also a json object so we need to create the json object request here so i'm going to go back here and create json object so we'll create json object request i will create json object request so new json object request and now this is going to take few parameters so first thing we're going to pass is method the method that we're going to use to retrieve the data from the server so request dot method and we'll pass the get method here and now we need to pass the url that we receive through the parameter and we'll pass the null and we'll cre create the uh, listener for the response and error okay so new response listener and we'll add one more error listener okay so that if anything happens during this uh, process and if anything if any error occurs we are going to get some error message using this on error response method and if we get the response that means we successfully and uh, that means we were able to retrieve the data from the server then we'll get the get the data through this on response method okay so this response json object is going to contain all the data so what i want to do is i want to log this here and display the data of this response and i will press the ctrl alt c in my keyboard and it's going to create the constant for us okay so this constant is created here now we'll be able to reuse this tag method every time when we create this log okay log message and i will create the log here as well to display the error message if we get any error message so i will just get the error and get message okay in, the, in that way we'll be able to display the error message we get if anything occurs okay and finally i need to add this object request to the queue so we already have the queue and we will add the request okay in that way it should be able to process this json object uh, it should be able to process this json object request okay so now we need to call this the get channel data in our onCreate method and it expect the arguments for the url so i'm going to go here and copy this url but there is one problem here our on android studio do not understand this localhost okay so instead of passing this localhost we need to find the ip address of our computer and pass that here okay so let me go to my network and sharing center and find my ip address okay so i'm going to click on these properties 
and I need to find the IPv4 address here. So this is my IPv4 address. You can see 192.168.1.65. .1 so in your case, it might be different. Just copy that IPv4 address, go here and replace this localhost with your IP address, okay? So mine is mine is 192.168.1.65. Okay, if I hit enter, we are going to get the same data. So this is the URL we need. So go back here, replace this URL with the IP address. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this in our emulator and hope that we'll be able to retrieve this data. If we are able to receive the data, then we'll get this log message in our log cat. Okay, so let's run this. Okay, our application crashed. So let's go ahead and see what is the problem. Okay, so here we are getting this error message. So it says that uh, our channel size is zero. We are trying to invoke the method in null object reference. So that means I forgot to initialize the list view. So let's go to the main activity here. Okay, so we have created this instance of channel list, but I have not initialized it anywhere. So let me create that first, okay. So channel list, new array list. Okay, now we should be good to go. So let's read on this application and we are at the home page and it is still blank, obviously. And let me go to the look, look at and check if we were able to retrieve our data and let me go and source the tag for the error message. Okay, so it says that clear text HTTP traffic to this IP address is not permitted. Okay. So you can see we are using HTTP. Okay. So Android Studio do not support HTTP directly. So we need to have HTTPS or with the SSL here. Okay. So it should be HTTPS, but I can't use HTTPS because it do not support HTTPS here in the local host. Okay. So what I can do is I can just add one more parameter in our Android manifest inside this application. Here, I want to allow clear text traffic, okay? So, or I can just search clear text traffic. So, Android uses clear text traffic and make it true. So, when you do that, it should be able to process that HTTP URL here in our main activity, okay? So, let me rerun this application and open the lock app. Okay, so we got this socket exception and operation not permitted. And I think that is because we forgot to give the internet permission for our application. So let's go to our Android manifest again and give the internet permission. Okay. So let's run this application again. Open the lock app. Okay. It still says the socket failed. Operation is not permitted. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall this application. So open this here. Sometimes Android Studio, I think I have this bug. Even though you have given the internet permission, it's not going to work. And what you need to do is you need to uninstall this application and restart it again, okay? And in that way, it's going to fix that error. Okay, now you can see we got the data from our API key, okay? Now, what we need to do is, we need to uh, collect the data that we received from the API key here, and we need to create the channel object and we need to pass, we need to store that channel object inside the channel list. And we will pass that list through this channel adapter. And we will do that in the next video.